Hello and welcome to MoTV News, I'm Tom Kershaw. This week has seen new trailer footage for Dead Space 3, Borderlands 2 writer gets into a spot of trouble, and the new Star Trek online game hints at an old enemy. And Armour 3 is in trouble again. But first, EA have announced this week that Medal of Honor will be taken out of rotation. During EA's third quarter financial call, that due to poor performances from the Medal of Honor series has been dropped following poor sales. The Medal of Honor publisher spoke out this week saying the game was solid but the combat authenticity did not resonate with the consumer. EA's label president Frank Jibu added we're in a hitter driven business where it's about all you can build in a game in a certain period of time and really deliver for the marketplace. And frankly, we missed out on Medal of Honor. And we're taking responsibility for that now. Remember uh, the good old Medal of Honor Rising Sun? Well, I know I do. Uh, do you think it's time to give up on the, the great franchise of Medal of Honor? Or do you think it needs a change to make it a bit more like Call of Duty driven? Drop us your comments below. And Borderlands 2 writer Anthony Birch has this week responded to allegations of racism against his words used for the character of Tiny Tina is for all those who you don't know is a 13 year old little girl. He's been likened to using black language. Anthony said in response to that the game has been out for months and now people are only latching onto the words used by the character who only says words like crunk. She's not going around the workshop with using a racial slur. His words not mine. And uh, Nerd Alert coming up now, a new teaser page has gone up in dedication to the Star Trek online website strongly hinting at a Romulan related content in May. We're guessing that there will be a major Romulan storyline in there so make sure you keep an eye out for that one. And now Armour 3's fictional island Limnos has been renamed Altis. This is a direct result of the debacle in which two Bohemian Interactive employees were detained in Greece. The developers thought that the island was too similar to the Greek island of Lemnos. So the guys are in trouble again there. The Armour 3 is expected later this year with more details coming in February. And now for the mini news roundup. We have Bioshock Infinite, City in the Sky trailer has been released this week, check that one out. We've got uh, the Gears of War Judgment Achievement list has been released online. Uh, Dead or Alive 5 patch is issued to be fixed this month. And EA announced new Need for Speed in 2013. And the biggest news probably, the GTA 5 is announced for a pushed back release date of September 17th, 2013. So we've got to uh, wait a little bit longer for that one. And that's all from me this week on Mo TV News. Till next time, goodbye. Okay.